Could a fox convince others to get rid of their tails? Could a crow perform the feats of an eagle? Well, hi there, Reader Adventure, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're reading more Aesop's Fables. Our stories will include The Fox Without a Tail, The Mischievous Dog, The Eagle and the Crow, and Caesar and His Slave. Let's get started. The Fox Without a Tail. A fox was once caught in a trap by his tail, and in order to get away, was forced to leave it behind. Knowing that without a tail, he would be a laughing stock for all his other fellows, he resolved to try to induce them to part with theirs. So at the next assembly of foxes, he made a speech about the unprofitableness of tails in general and the inconvenience of a fox's tail in particular, adding that he had never felt so easy since he had given up his own. When he had sat down, a sly old fellow rose and, waving his long brush of a tail, with a graceful air said, with a sneer, that if, like the last speaker, he had lost his tail, <laughs> nothing further would have been needed to convince him. But till such an accident should happen, he should certainly vote in favor of tails. <laughs> the lesson. Guard against those who would wish you reduced to their own level. The Mischievous Dog A rascally dog used to run quietly to the heels of every passerby and bite them without warning. So his master was obliged to tie a bell around the cur's neck so that he might give notice wherever he went. This the dog thought very fine indeed, and he went about tinkling his bell in pride all over town. But an old hound said, Why do you make such a fool of yourself? That bell is not a mark of merit, but of disgrace. Lesson. Notoriety is often mistaken for fame. The Eagle and the Crow. A crow watched an eagle swoop with a majestic air from a cliff upon a flock of sheep and carry away a lamb in his talons. The whole thing looked so graceful and so easy that the crow at once proceeded to imitate it and pouncing on the back of the largest and fiercest ram he could see. <laughs> he tried to make off with it. He found that he could not even move the ram, and his claws got so entangled in the animal's fleece that he could not get away himself. He, therefore, became an easy prey for the shepherd, who, coming up at the time, caught him, cut back his wings, and gave him to his children as a plaything. They came crowding around their father and asked, what kind of strange bird was he? <laughs> Why, said he, he'll tell you himself that he's an eagle, but you take my word for it. I know him to be a crow. Lesson, tis folly to attempt what you are unable to perform. Caesar and the slave. During a visit that Tiberius Caesar paid to one of his country residences, he observed that whenever he walked the grounds, a certain slave was always a little ways ahead of him, busily watering the paths. Turned which way he would go, go where he might, there was always this fellow still fussing about him with the watering pot. He felt sure that he was making himself thus needlessly officious in the hope of thereby gaining his liberty. In making a slave free, a part of the ceremony consisted of giving him a gentle stroke across the side of his face. Hence, when the man came running up in eager expectation at the call of the emperor, the latter said to him, 
<clears throat> I have for a long time observed you, meddling where you had nothing to do, and while you might have been better employed elsewhere. You are mistaken if you think I can afford a box on the ear at so low a price as you bid for it. Lesson. Being busy does not always mean being useful. Wow! <laughs> there are some silly acting animals in these stories today. For more Aesop's Fables, check out these other videos. And thank you for being a reader adventurer. Until our next video, happy story time! Bye!